Welcome to Discover Talent Presents folks. In this series, we're gonna cover Excel important date formulas, which will help us every data analyst to work more effectively and efficiently in MS Excel, right? So without further ado, let's quickly start. We'll start with this formula called workday.intl. Cool, so we'll simply just copy this, okay? And we'll simply paste over here. And I'll remove a white space from here. And I'll just say enter. You could see result has been displayed over here. However, it's in number format. So for that, to get the result, simply just click on this short date. Now, what is the use of this workday.intl? So it help you to find the end date of the project. Cool. So what I have did, I have added a workday formula over here. And then this is the start date for me accordingly 10 days. Okay. If in case you want to exclude a weekends as well, we can do that as well. Okay. Suppose I want to exclude this Saturday Sunday, so I can remove that and I just say enter. Okay. So result is different. Cool. So we are saying here 10 days and here, if you could see over here, it's a 15 days, right? Because we are excluding a Saturday Sunday, which is our holiday specific to our MNCs or maybe any of the industry you are working with, right? So that time we can see that, you know, this is the day where we having a off. So we can exclude that. This particular formula majority times WFM folks use it. Okay. Every data analyst use it whenever they need to create any kind of a dashboard or maybe any template, right? To share with the client. Cool. Let's move ahead. Now we can see this network days dot INTL. Correct. So let me just copy this again and simply just paste it over here and I'll enter it. What is it exactly? It will help you to calculate a total days of completion for your respective project. Okay. So let me just explain you this particular formula network days dot INTL type in your MS Excel start date. This is your start date. And then if you want to add a end date, you can add that too. Simply here, if in case you want to add a weekends as well, you can do that too. Okay, just do a comma and then just add it Saturday, Sunday basis to a requirement. I don't want that, so I then simply just deselecting that, and this is my result. Cool. So so far, what we have seen, we have seen a workdays dot intl, cool, and then network days intl. Great. Now let's move ahead and see what is edit function. Okay. Edit function is basically help you to add a month in your date. Okay. So what is, so what it is exactly. Let me just copy this again, simply paste it and then enter. I will say short date once again. Okay. So let me just change the current month. Okay. So this is my current month ongoing month. I will simply just say 7 over here and just say 1, 8, 9, 10. So what we have did, so we have added a 3 months over here. Cool. So this is done again. This is completed. Now let's take a look at a EO month. Okay. So EO month is basically when you are into a current month and you want to identify a next month's last day so that you can check that okay simply over here what i have first of july 2024 and then i will get a result 31st of august 2024 cool which means this from this to this 31st of august which is the last day of the month cool so this is what it is and we have completed this as well weekday okay and I'll change a range as well for this. Simply, I want this to be a range added over here. 1724, I'll just say enter. And this is the result, the second week. Correct? And what is a 1? So 1 is basically your return type. You can number, basis your requirement. I'll select a simply 1. Cool. And this is my result added over here. Now, after this, to find the day of your week. This is what it is. Now, suppose you are using this dated if function. 
okay so what is the use of this day to day function basically it help you to calculate a age correct so copy and paste it and press enter so you will get a result like this great so this is what we have did so far we have covered a almost six formulas okay and then last but not the least which is a seventh one days cool let's copy this and then paste it over here cool now what we have selected we have selected a this start date in this column which is our end date correct and start date is this cool and then press enter so th so this is showcasing us a overall days correct so there is a basically difference of two days this is how most important functions we have covered in this entire series thanks for watching have a great day ahead